It's now time for me to learn how to knit with different colors. It took me a little bit to figure out how to install the second yarn guide, but eventually I managed. And I also figured how to get the two yarns installed. My first rows of knitting, however, didn't work. None of that second yarn was knitted. So for this to work, I had to push the shaka key and the knitting key together, simultaneous. And important, push those two things in upper position. Then move the stitches for the second color into position two, but they say without having them, without having the stitch go behind the latch. And this way it works when I had these little buttons more. It didn't need the second color, but just the first color. So let's do another test. This time my main color is blue and the secondary color will be the light gray. And I marked on the front bed the needles that I pushed into position two on the back bed. So it's easier for me to remember. For now I'm gonna make some straight lines. I'm trying to do an like an A or an X, I don't know yet, and I keep a single line here. So let's see if it works. Well, it would help if I would set the keys right. Let me try that again. So I set up the needles again. Uh, actually, those I wanted to make something different. So I'm gonna go out way. This is now a test. In the instruction it says to push it into position two without getting the stitch behind the latch. But I want to know and I push the stitch behind the latch. So let me see what happens. Looks just normal, so I don't think it's that critical to worry about it. So let me rehang the weights and again. For this test, I pushed all needles out, so it should knit the entire row in the secondary color. Same on the way back. Just the blue yarn is now going the entire width. I was kind of hoping it stays over there, but it's knitted in on the other side. So let me <coughs> knit two rows in the primary color. The grail thing was not knitted in and it stood over there. Cool. So now I try to switch over to Shakar or check out whatever this is pronounced in English. So for this I will need to activate the needles on the other side. I'm gonna take out the yarn for now because I don't that secondary yarn because I don't really need it to start that baby and cancel all buttons go to regular knitting and based on my experience with the patterns this should now nicely start knitting a full rib both sides let's give it a try it would help if I would activate the front bed at uh, the front carriage try that again and zip ah, no stupid me I forgot to put the front bed into offset position so the needles collided and it's my wife's knitting machine so let's try it again
Yep. So far that works. So the back bed has to be set like for fair hour, which means I cancel the button and then I push the shakar and the shakar button and this button at the same time. I put these selectors to the top position. And on the front bed, I need to cancel all button, push the shakar key, have this button on neutral, and here choose the Efriara needle selector button. So I choose five needles in primary color, five needles in gray, four needles and blue, four needles gray, three and three, two and two, one and one, two and two, three and three. And I go with that design. Unfortunately, I cannot mark the needles on the front bed now because the front bed is in use. Let's give it a try. Looks promising. Let me re-push the needles out and push back. So I needed a couple of roses bay. <coughs> now I only want to knit in blue. And now I only want to knit in grey. Not sure if it has done it. And I go only in blue. Sometimes the gray is picked up from the back needles. From the front, I mean from the front back needles. Let me take the gray out because I want to finish now. And I'm gonna need a few regular rows. I already changed the carriage. Oops. Next, I'm transferring the needles from the front bed, I mean the stitches from the front bed to the back bed. So all the stitches on the back bed, I changed the weights. I moved all needles into position two to make sure it does not get hang up on any too tight stitches. And whoop. I'm gonna add two more rows or so and then I'm casting off. So here we go. <coughs> I guess that's where I started, down there. <coughs> I started with la I, st I started <coughs> with some lines, thicker and thinner. Oh, here I was a little bit off. Here I did the type of V-shape. Then I went into two gray rows, followed by two blue rows. That looks good. Then I started to get into the front bed as well, which means I activated the back needles and the fabric is much thicker. And I did this <coughs> Five block, four block, three block, two, one, two, three. And that works nice. And I needed one row in gray. That also worked. And the difference of course is on the back bed side. On the first approach, that's fair aisle, you see those big slips and you can get your fingers stuck in there. Versus the Shakaki uh, method. Uh, you don't see that slip because it's basically rowing uh, two fabrics uh, back to back. Cool, but I can do it. Nice. For sheets and giggles, I wanted to do another test and try to do a partial shakar. So I didn't activate all needles on the front bed, only some. And on the right hand side, I didn't activate all needles on the back bed. Only some. The shakar only seems to use needles if they had been knitted before. We had it on this example where it didn't knit it after activation. And I seem to have the same over there except with one exception. 
So just let me try again and I need a few rows. Yeah, those needles seem to be remain to be inactive. I dropped a few stitches here, so I think I stop rather now and take it off and have a look. Here's the result as I expected. The blue areas on the back bed knitted nice. The area where I activated all needles on the front bed and only a few on the back bed didn't go nice. You just see a lot of yarn going left to right. Turning it around, you see the partial shakar basically covers every other stitch, the blue yarn. So overall, this might get handy at some point in time, but for now it's good enough to know. At the end, I was actually surprised how easy it goes to work with two different yarns.